So I'm not saying that this this dad in this situation is denying his son therapy is a narcissist, but if he is, here's why. And if you knew her, I have narcissistic personality disorder. So a lot of narcissists see their children as reflections of themselves, as reflections of ourselves. So if our children are not doing well, then that reflection, that mirror that we're looking in is cracked and we don't want to see that. So a lot of times you get narcissistic people that have you know children with special needs and things like that and they disown the kids or they treat, treat those kids terribly and that is pure evil. Or you get one like this who, whose dad thinks that there's nothing wrong with it. Probably just needs to toughen up. Probably just needs a thicker skin. Probably just needs to be a boy or you know be a man and toughen up. Narcissists cannot stand the thought of something being wrong with their kids. Like I can speak for myself. My kids had like speech delays and hear anything wrong with my kids was just like, uh, cause arguments with my wife, cause arguments with my son's mom, like everything. Get that boy into therapy, whatever it takes. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware narcissist Lee Hammock, the diagnosed narcissist from TikTok and YouTube and Instagram that uses his platform to raise awareness for narcissistic personality disorder and also in the process, get more people into therapy and validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. Okay, this, so this series right here is just, I just take my TikToks and make them longer. They're 60 seconds. These are going to be longer than 60 seconds, people. So this, the video you just watched was about um, a woman who said, a woman said that she tried to get her son into therapy and whatnot, but her narcissistic ex or whatnot refused the therapy because when you try to do stuff like that with your child, both parents have to sign off on it and things like that. And that just got my mind thinking because narcissists typically like we see our kids as reflections of ourselves. So if we are looking in, into that mirror that is our kids and what we see, what we see back, we don't like narcissists in that situation tend to get rid of their kids. They tend to abandon their kids. They tend to go find, find kids or have more, try to have more kids to, you know, find one or two or whatever that fit them better they they you know they can love that reminds them more of themselves sometimes that they, they feel like they can go farther and they can be proud of and things like that so you get the terrible narcissistic person right there and like as narcissists like we can't like process anything being wrong with our kids like yeah you know, when i say wrong i mean anything like my kids like in that example right there i said that my kids uh, my older son had like a speech thing and he was like, you know, delayed a little bit in school. And so my, my youngest son too, both sim same thing, both delayed speech impediments and things like that. And I just hated, I hated hearing about it. They would bring it up. My wife would say something about it. My son's mom would say something about it. I was just like, I don't want to hear it. I was like, nothing is wrong with the kids. Not nothing is wrong with them. Just give them time. I can understand them perfectly. Why can't y'all understand what they're saying perfectly? It's like, I'm a better parent than y'all because I'm trying to actively make, I'm, I'm, I'm actively putting in putting in the energy to understand what they're saying as opposed to trying to throw them in the hospital or throw them in some kind of speech therapy or something like that where they, where they don't need it. They're fine. Arguments ensued. That was one of the biggest things with me and my wife used to argue about. She used to say something about my stepson, her stepson's, uh, she used to say something about my son, her stepson, his speech, and I would just fly off the handle. So it got to the point where she wouldn't say anything about my son. She was just scared to say anything about him. But now is we worked on it. Now we can talk now. You know, those those, those things are we can talk about that type of stuff now. So I can, I know that if you're in a relationship with a narcissist and you have step kids involved that are not your kids or you have actual kids involved that it might have issues and things like that. It's hard to talk to them about it because I don't want anything to be wrong. With, we, we don't want anything to be wrong with our kids. You know, and just like that example I gave right there, the mom wants to put the son into the therapy because he told us he's jumping off a bridge or something like that. And the son, the dad is probably just like, you know, just he needs to just toughen up. Kids these days will say a lot of stuff. There's nothing wrong with them. Just give him an Xbox, give him a PS5, give him some Fortnite and let him go about his day. He'll be fine. He doesn't need this. Stuff. There's nothing wrong with him. Something wrong with you. You need to go to therapy. Now it's an argument between the, the dad and the mom now. You mean? And narcissists do that. They would, would they would withhold medical attention and things like that because sometimes sometimes let's be real. Sometimes these these some of the the worst narcissists, some of these evil these evil ones don't care. They don't care if there's something wrong with their kid. They don't have anything to do with it, so they just got no. He does, no, he doesn't need therapy. They don't care about why he needs therapy, why or she needs therapy. They don't care. Just nope. I don't have anything. Do you need both parents' signatures? You won't get mine. You know, GP. Like I said, I just remember, realized that type of stuff now. Like, uh, my oldest son now, I'm about to put him into therapy now. You know, even though it's tough, 
like put him in the therapy now, but just you know some, some stuff that you know, probably I, I don't put him through. Just being honest, I, was, I have narcissistic personality disorder. I was not the best of parents for the first X amount of years of his life. I've been better now, and I'm going to continue to be better because he deserves the best shot at life he he, he has. He, he deserves the best. I love him. I love my kids. He deserves the best. They all deserve the best. My middle son deserves the best. My youngest daughter, my daughter deserves the best. They're going to get the best version of me because I like looking into those little mirrors and seeing good reflections. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to discard my kids. I'm going to never discard my kids. You know what I mean? That's not me. Some people are different. Some people are just built different. Some people are just built from material that's, you know, just built from some flimsy ass metal. This is steel right here. You know what I mean? But kid, like I said, narcissists, they just have problems when they, they, they'll discard their kids. Your kids, you know, anything, like anything wrong, especially like, you know, something permanent. Like I've seen, I've heard these stories and seen people that you know, think they are dealing with narcissists. Their, their, their child has sickle cell or Down syndrome or something like that. Something like that, you know, <clears throat> but it's, the kid is going to be dependent upon you for a while, you know what I mean, or for their life. And then, but the, the narcissist, they'll check out. They're like, well, I'm not dedicating my life to helping somebody else out, even though it's their own child. But because they have Down syndrome or something like that, they'll just get rid of the kids early. Just early on and dismiss them. And this is another thing right here. So if you if you get pregnant by a person that you think is a narcissist, if you get pregnant by a person that you think is a narcissist, and they tell you to get in the, tell you to get in a smush motion, you know, it rhymes with smush motion. <clears throat> and they tell you to get one of those, and you don't get one of those. The narcissist will think you're trying to trap them, and they will not be there for that kid. Hundred percent, hundred thousand percent. Or if they're there for that kid, they're going to torture you for the rest of your life because they say, "I told you to get, I told you to do this, you didn't do it. So now I'm going to punish you for the rest of your existence." And it's not just until the kid is 18. You got a co-grandparent and parallel grand grandparent, grandma, and grandpa hate each other. You don't have your kids grow up and say that. Your grandkids gonna grow up and say that. My grandma and my grandpa, they hate each other. They don't talk. They haven't talked in years. Imagine your grand, your kids or grandparents saying about grandkids saying about you. You know what I mean? So if they tell you to get a smush motion and you don't do it, they will feel like you tried to trap them. And they, they, they you know, a lot of people say, I'll, I'll do it on my own. I'll do it on my own anyway. You might have to. But then, like I said, they t in, the, in, the, in the narcissist mind, they'll say, and this is how narcissist brain thinks. Mind works. It's like. We it's logical. It's like the logic. I know it might not make sense to you, but it's logical. It's like we told you we didn't want that baby. We told you to smushmort it, but you didn't want to, so you didn't listen. I told you, like the narcissist said, I told you I wasn't going to be there for those kids. That kid, and you still had it anyway, so that's on you. And then that's how they work, and they'll tell you that too. And you get you get deeper into that child's life. They'll say exactly that to you. It's like, I told you what I was going to do. I told you I was not going to be there for that child. You had it anyway. This is your fault. You try to trap me. You're going to be blasted all over social media, Facebook, wherever. You're going to be blasted everywhere. And they're going to, and they're going to, the narcissist is going to feel justified in saying it. And they're not, you mean, just get prepared for that. Because I'm telling you, you can't, you can't force somebody to be a father. You can't force somebody to be a mother. You can't force that on them. Um, but, you mean. It happens. Oh, I got your number on Facebook. My mind, I gotta take my number. I have my phone number on Facebook. I did not know. I did not know it was on there. Anyways, y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all for tuning into another episode. I gotta take my number off on Facebook. I just realized that my, face, my phone number is on my Facebook page. My mental health on the Facebook page. I don't know why they made me use, put it on there. Anyways, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I really, truly appreciate y'all. Mental health is out. Peace.